What is up, everyone? Good afternoon. Uh, I mean, if you're on the East Coast, it's afternoon. If you're on the West Coast, it's a nice morning. Hopefully, uh, sales have picked up for you finally. I know the past like four or five days, they've actually become quite steady trying to get back on that $1,000 a day of sales that is very common during the fourth quarter. Didn't have, actually, I had zero Amazon sales yesterday. And maybe in two days, I haven't had any Amazon sales. But platforms have been doing quite well for me. I haven't really given that much love to Amazon, actually. So, surprise there. But hit the thrift store this morning. And uh, I hadn't been to that one in about a week or so. And, or about a week and a half, actually. And it did not disappoint one bit. So... How's everyone else doing today? Uh, what are you guys up to? Just comment, throw it in the live chat. If you want to interact, ask me any questions. I'll try to answer them as I'm going over exactly what I bought. I'm trying to think how much I spent. I don't have the receipt. I think it was like 430, I believe, with taxes and everything. Uh, ended up getting like 68, 68 items, but eight of those 68 items will easily pay for my entire haul so it is uh it was a good day but uh yeah without further ado let's get started this one is actually probably one of the better finds of the day i did pay up for it so all of these prices were uh 35 percent off so just take 35 percent off and i do pay up for items that i know will sell well so this is 30 bucks minus the 35 percent off it's a vintage spider usa like ski skiing snowboarding jacket so sick I'm probably gonna ask about 150 to 200 bucks on it the sleeves even zip off so you can wear it as a uh vest even this thing's so tight i haven't seen one of these like this at all so can't wait to get that listed the only problem is it doesn't have the hood which is not that big of a deal it's a pretty heavy jacket though but yeah i'm gonna ask about 150 to 200 on that one duke stuff duke vintage duke stuff always does pretty well for me so this is a vintage duke uh t-shirt spell out uh this was a buck 29 i'll probably ask about 25 on it so the jackets were just put out today, I believe, or a couple days ago. A Ralph Lauren fleece jacket. Uh, after my discount, paid about eight bucks for it. I'm gonna ask about 40 to 45. I always do pretty well with those, especially like the black ones. The black color, uh, Ralph Lauren like dress shirts and stuff, they, I feel like they're hard to find, so people pay up for them. Uh, so I would do pretty well with those. Of course, had to venture over to the women's section. Uh, these are men. Uh, I believe these are the yoga studio pants. Uh, they got the little cups on the bottom. These are unlined. I think, yeah, these are unlined. Uh, I don't even know what size it is. So a quick way to most Lululemon items, they usually, I mean, if you find them at the thrift, they're usually missing the tag, size tag, but have them in their pockets. Uh, there'll be a yellow, or not a yellow, a white dot. So right there, is a, it's in the pocket. That's a size 10, so pretty good size. Should sell very quickly. Uh, I paid six bucks for those. Some more women's stuff. So I typically don't pick up women's stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I mostly sell men's clothing, but I'll, I'll do the usual suspects, Lululemon, Patagonia, North Face. So this is just a, a base layer, Patagonia, long sleeve. Pretty good color, paid six forty nine. dollars always do well. With these on Poshmark, uh, so I'll get about 30 bucks or so. Here's a Columbia T-shirt, PFG, performance fishing gear. Big spell out, good size too. The smaller sizes for PFG do pretty well for me. Uh, this is $4.54, I'll probably ask about 25 on it. I a couple pairs of new with tags, Levi's, and they actually were not, so this, Salvation Army that I go to is pretty high price for the most part, uh, especially new with tags items. So I was kind of surprised that this wasn't. Uh, I ended up paying just over eight bucks for a brand new pair of Levi's. 
three buys usually bring me about 40 to 45 bucks very quickly too. Here's some vintage, vintage Nike with the big logo, uh, like nylon shorts. Probably get about 20 or 25 on those. It's a pretty cool shirt. Uh, it's a Nike Myler. Uh, so if you do follow me, you know that I used to run track and cross country for Michigan State. My main event was the Myler. So I just picked it up. Uh, it actually does fit me, but I probably won't. I'll probably just sell it. Here's a vintage Adidas. What up, Landon? So Landon, if you don't follow Landon, uh, it's the thriftologist on Instagram. Give him a follow. He's a good dude. Met him at the reseller alley. We had some fun times together. Met him and his wife. But yep, here's a vintage Adidas spell out hoodie. Uh, this was $650. i am going to ask about 40 on it. What is this? Okay, this is a Nike ACG long sleeve base layer shirt. Uh, some of the ACG will actually tell you they're numbered. So like one, two, and three. One is their base layer line. Two, I think, is just like goes over the base layer. And then three, I believe, are like usually their jackets. Banana Republic slim fit dress shirt, good good print. I I kind of stopped picking up dress shirts for the most part unless they're a really good brand. Uh, but I always like picking up like if it's a good if it's a slim fit and it has a good print to it, I'll pick it up. I'm gonna s twenty five on it. This one is pretty cool actually. This was in the women's section. Uh, it's unisex, I believe. It says adult or adult medium. This is the Umbro. Spell out windbreaker jacket. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I don't know if the lights gonna allow you to see it. But it actually says like Umbro. It's like embossed down the side. Yeah, you can't really see it, but that was a pretty cool jacket. So I found out this was new with tags. Actually, this is a dope ass Jordan shirt. Like. When I was putting it up on the counter, I saw that the tags were tucked in. So this is a brand new, like graffiti kind of stencil. Michael Jordan, such a dope shirt. It's an extra large. Otherwise, I'd keep it. This one's probably going to end up going to the Paj hanger. This is a vintage Boston Celtics crew neck sweater. She loves the Celtics. I'm just waiting for her to send me a DM wanting it. I've kind of picked, stopped picking up Ralph Lauren uh, dress shirts. Ralph Lauren's kind of fallen off a little bit, unless it's your typical like vintage stuff. But this is new with tags, so someone, someone during Christmas time will definitely be buying it. Here's another. Usually they tax on these quite a bit. Charles Tierwit. Uh, they're they're okay. I haven't sold enough of them to actually tell you guys if they're good or not. Uh, I think I'm only sold like two or three of them for about 25 bucks. A lot for that one. Here's a vintage Detroit Red Wings hockey jersey. It's pretty small. I believe this This is probably a kid's jersey. I might sell it as a men's small. It's blank. There's no size tag on it, but probably has about 30 bucks on it. I could probably fit into it, honestly. I might keep it. So these are probably the coolest Jabbaw jeans, or however you say it, that I've picked up to date. It's got the big spell out on the back, like a paint splatter. Uh, this is actually embroidered back here, so I'm probably going to ask about 40 to 50, actually probably about 50 bucks on this. Here's a vintage. They actually weren't taxing on this, which is surprising. Here's a vintage Patagonia full zip. Fleece jacket. Yeah, this ended up only cost me five dollars eighty-four cents. Probably gonna ask close to fifty on it. So this brand is super hit or miss for me. Sugoi or whatever, however you say it. I believe it's like a cycling brand. Uh, this is a jacket though. It's like a cycling jacket, so I figured someone will want it. It's a size small, which is a good size. Uh, when you, when I look at athletic gear, most people that are wearing athletic gear are typically in shape. So they're going to be on the skinnier side. 
Uh, so the smaller sizes seem to do a lot better for me than the larger sizes. Here's a vintage Nautica spell out fleece pullover. Paid eight bucks for this. Probably ask about 35 to 40 on it. What are these? Oh yeah, I picked these up because they were super vintage looking. Some vintage Nike, or not Nike, they're not Nike at all. Michigan, Michigan Wolverines, uh, nylon joggers. Uh, these are lined too, so they have that lining. That's how you know they're lined. Uh, pretty good size and they're super cheap, two bucks, $2.59. Uh, I'll probably ask about 40 on those. So this isn't vintage, but I had to pick it up anyway. So what I'm going to end up doing is throwing a patch on this. So it's a brand new with tags, Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Hilfiger. I say it wrong on purpose just to piss people off. But yeah, new with tags, spell out, like parka jacket. So I'm going to probably throw a, like a large patch over here. Let's see if I have one. No, I don't have one. Maybe something like this. I actually kind of like this one. Give it the old weathered look. But yeah, I might throw that on there. Just note it in the listing that there's a patch added to it. Here's a vintage. This was half off. Green tags were half off today. Uh, these are vintage uh, Augusta Masters golf polos. These are okay during the year, but really when Masters times hit, uh, that's when they really start. Uh, that's when they really start selling quickly. So you got about a month, but they still sell like decently well for me throughout the year. It's a pretty cool jersey. This is an Umbro England. Uh, well, it's a polo, I guess. So this is okay. This, I think I'm sitting on a brand new one that I probably need to lower the price on, but it's a, the other one's a red one. This one's blue. Uh, probably ask about 30 bucks on it. So I'm pretty positive that this shirt belonged to an Olympian. So this is a Great Britain Adidas 2012 London Games t-shirt. It's an extra small. So there's a couple... There's a, actually, there's a few Olympians that live in Ann Arbor. One I used to train with when I first moved here. He's from New Zealand. His name's Nick Willis. Uh, now I put a patch on, I put a patch on the item to make it more desirable. Uh, there's no, diff, it's brand new with tags. There's no defect I'm trying to hide. Uh, but yeah, so I used to train with an Olympian here uh, from New Zealand. He's actually a two-time uh, Olympic medalist. He got silver in the yeah, but silver or bronze in the last Olympics in the 1500, and then I believe a silver in the 2008 Olympics. Uh, but then there's also a couple, uh, Jeff Porter and his wife, uh, kind of blanking on her name, but I believe they're, they're from Great Britain, so I believe this was probably hers. So that was a pretty nice find. So this is more of a local brand, Shorts uh, Brewing Company. It's actually up north in Michigan. Uh, so the, I'm assuming this would probably sell in the Midwest. Uh, this is only two bucks. I like selling like brand or beer apparel, beer branded apparel. So this isn't actually, this is just a no-name brand polo, but it has that Shorts Brewing Company on the side. So I've been picking up more of this brand lately just to test it out to see how it does. I used to wear this a lot. DC Shoes. Uh, it's a skateboarding company. Uh, this is a hoodie. It was a good price, so I picked it up. And winter's coming, so people are going to start looking for sweaters. So I paid up for this jacket, uh, Fabletics. It's new with tags. This is a women's. Uh, this was $19.99 minus 35%, so it was about $13. Bucks. But the retail on it is like $75. Uh, but yeah, this is just Fabletics and yeah, Landon, Landon's right. Uh, I mean, most of the labels that I'm talking about are already brand names that most people know. So I don't really, like if I say it's Nike, it's Nike. Like most people know what Nike is. Most, most people know what Adidas is. 
Do some vintage Nike tennis shorts. So this is their tennis logo. Looks like a tennis court. That's why it's a tennis logo, but yeah, Nike. I haven't picked these up in a long time. These kind of fell off big time for me, but I figured I'll try them out again because it was cheap. Uh, Express 1MX dress shirt is 3 bucks or $3.50 because it was half off. Usually I get about 15 or 20, so it's not a huge money maker, but those little little sales add up during the day. So it's a pretty cool find, even though I'm not much of a Michigan fan. They do have quite the following, I have to admit that. But this is the padded uh, Michigan cycling uh, bib, like racing bib. There's a bunch of different uh, logos on the back, clip bar and stuff. This is for the triathlon team, but it was really cheap. Yeah, it cost me three bucks, so I'll probably ask about 40 on it. So football season's coming up, so you need to start thinking about picking up like football cleats, like high school, especially. So this is an Under Armour padded uh, football shirt that you wear underneath the pads. Gives you a little extra padding on the sides and on your shoulders. Probably ask about 30 to 40 on that one. Here's a vintage Warner Brothers embroidered fleece vest. Is what the tag looks like. Uh, they have a bunch of different iterations of these tags, though. So uh, this stuff is hit or miss for me, also. So if it's if it's cool like that, some like fleece vests are kind of in right now. Uh, I'll pick it up. If not, then I won't. I just picked this up because it was cool looking, vintage looking. It is vintage. Uh, it's a Boston College striped crew neck sweater. So people be will be repping their college this this winter, uh, and it's cold in Boston. So hopefully that sells pretty quickly. Probably ask about twenty five bucks on it. What else do we have? It's a Hugo Boss, Hugo Boss slim fit dress shirt. This was five bucks. It was half off. Uh, the Hugo Boss stuff is also hit or miss for me. I'll probably ask about 25 or 30 on it. Here's another uh, Banana Republic Slim Fit dress shirt. Again, I asked about 25 bucks on those. Uh, do you hang your favorite jackets behind you or, or what? Uh, no, yeah, I, I do like those jackets. That's why I did hang them behind me. Uh, so this is the Ferrari one that I picked up off of. I bought off of Picking Vintage, and then the Vintage Tommy Hilfiger one that I bought a while ago. It still hasn't sold, surprisingly. Here's some orange tab Levi's. So these are vintage. Uh, the patch is pretty beat up, which I actually like. Uh, people also like, to, for whatever reason, like seeing, like buying beat up Levi's. So these are pretty faded, nice broken in. Uh, probably ask about 40 bucks on these. So the orange tab are, so I believe it goes like the big E Levi's are the super vintage ones that go for a lot of money. Orange tab would be more of their middle, like vintage line, and then anything after the orange tab is just their normal ones. Here's another pair of brand new with tags Levi's. Good color, good size, 31 by 30. Crazy to me that people just donate brand new tag stuff again this isn't a huge money maker for me wrangler uh, but if it's new with tags and cheap enough then i'll pick it up because those country farmers need some stuff to wear landon now is he's over uh landon's over in kentucky so he knows all about that farm and stuff horse racing and farming Here's an Indiana University Adidas, pretty nice, full zip, like fleece jacket, sweater, whatever. $6.50. So I've only sold this brand twice, and it never sold well for me, but this is was such a cool looking, like embroidered, like cowboy shirt. It's called Roar. And like, Comps look pretty good, actually, but I told myself I wouldn't pick it up, but then I came across this shirt, and it was, it was pretty cool looking. Like, I would never wear this, but 
some dude in the club that wants to look like he's an edgy Western cowboy is going to rock the shit out of this with his true religion jeans on and probably uh, wearing sunglasses in the club. Here's another brand that I never picked up, and I'm kind of surprised they actually sold it to me. Uh, so this is why it pays to be super nice to uh, – that's why it pays to be super nice to uh, – the employees like talk them up ask them how their day has been going whatever so the salvation armies in michigan aren't allowed to technically sell you clothes that don't have price tags on it anymore this and but i still i still put them in my cart because again if you're super nice to them they'll overlook it and they'll price it for a lot less than what the pricer in the back probably would have so she sold it to me i don't know how much i paid for it uh finger crocs is the name it's like a so this is the military gear. I don't know, but some of the some of the completeds look pretty good, or solds look pretty good. So I took a chance on it. Like that's the best best way to make some money and learn about items is take a chance on it. Like it's the best best advice I could give. Here's another Warner Bros. Bugs Bunny embroidered pocket T-shirt. It was a buck twenty nine. So if I make twenty bucks on it, still pretty good profit margin. Stop picking up Brooks Brothers stuff, but this one was pretty nice. Uh, might be new. No, I don't think so. Uh, Brooks Brothers. It's a slim fit, too. It's a snap button. I like selling the snap button stuff. Uh, this is pretty cheap. I probably asked about 25 bucks on it because it's a good print, but these are snap buttons. Another Banana Republic slim fit dress shirt. Good print, so I picked it up. So this was a nice find of the day. This is a vintage Nautica spell out. Uh, let's see, where's the bucket? Yeah, vintage Nautica spell out robe. Uh, someone actually commented on my Instagram when I posted it, saying that they sold one for seventy-five bucks. So maybe I'll throw it up for seventy-five bucks on eBay. Maybe a hundred bucks on Grail. To see how it does. This is a dope ass jacket. I don't know. I forgot to take a picture of it uh, when I was in the thrift store, so you guys didn't see it. I believe it's women's, but I'm going to sell those unisex. Uh, just got to make sure that you put... Oh, it could actually be men's. It's pretty big. But this is just a tight jacket jean text. It's like pretty long, too. So this hangs down almost to my knees, a couple... Pretty damn close to my knees, actually. But yeah, this is sick. It's got like basketball players, runners on the back, baseball players. But yeah, this is a dope jacket. It has a hood that hides away. Probably gonna ask like 75 bucks on it. And since it wasn't really brand name, they didn't charge me shit for it. Four dollars, four dollars and fifty cents. Here's some vintage Reebok for the big boys. These are side three XL. Uh, these are some joggers. They're probably so Reebok used to uh, Reebok used to uh, sponsor Texas, I believe. So I believe these are probably Texas version, the burnt orange. Uh, the size on the jackets, big drift. It doesn't have a wait. Hold on. It says fifty four slash fifty six, so it's European sizing. Uh, I mean, I can try it on real quick. So I'm a size medium in most things. I, I would assume it's probably closer to like an extra large, honestly. Like 54, 56 might actually be like 2XL, but I'm probably still always like an extra large. But yeah, this is like hanging off of me. It's pretty long, but pretty tight jacket nonetheless. So. Uh, so this is my biggest pay up of the day, but I know how much I'm roughly going to make on it. So this is a new with tags, REI. So the only thing that I might be women's, uh, is because it, I believe it zips on the other side and most women's stuff zips on one side and most men's stuff zips on the other, but, uh, I'll look at it closer. I'm going to sell those men's anyway. 
but you know, this is a new with tags REI, like super nice outdoor rain jacket. Uh, well, it's like a little thicker than a rain jacket. I believe it has a lining too. Or no, maybe it does. But I paid 50 bucks for it. It's a good size, 2XL. Uh, but yeah, this this is, you're able to zip this into another jacket, it says. Uh, so I'm going to ask about 150 on it. So after after my discount and stuff, I ended up paying like 32 bucks. So I will ask probably 150 Let's see if they have a, yeah. Just the REI EI Elements jacket. This is other. This is another cool vintage vintage marmot. This is an outdoor hiking company. So it's a nice little color block. Good colors, nice and bright. Ended up paying thirteen bucks for it. Has a little spell out on the side, but color block jackets always do pretty well for me. So I'm gonna ask about seventy-five to one hundred on that one. It's a pretty cool find too. Vintage Nike spell out, big on big on the back, small swoosh on the front, nice little windbreaker. Usually you get about forty to fifty bucks on it. Paid thirteen for it. Winding down. So funny story. My uh, my buddy had these J Crew pants in. Uh, we all went to Michigan State, so they're lined. They're like fleece lined, and so they're they're actually pretty warm. And uh, so we wore them last year. Like, we were really bad in football last year. Uh, and so I forget what game, but it, it, oh, it was the Wisconsin game. After the Wisconsin game, we lost. He goes, dude, I've worn these to all losses this year. I need to burn them. Of course, he was hammered. So, yeah, he took his pants off, and uh, we went to the house that we were staying at, uh, kind of near the stadium, and they had a fire pit in the back. And uh, – he torched them. So I sent him a text. I go, man, I, I got you another pair of uh, J. Crew lined, uh, fleece lined uh, pants for you to burn this year, too, when we suck. But now uh, I'm probably going to ask about 35 to 40 on those, honestly. You're not going to get them. I was hanging out in the women's section a little bit today. This is brand new with tags, like wool, uh, Patagonia dress, outdoor dress or whatever. Uh, again, paid up for this, so it's twenty four ninety nine minus the thirty five percent. But this has a hundred twenty nine dollar price tag on it, so I might price it at see how it goes. But yeah, any new with tag stuff, uh, if it's a good brand, I, I'll usually pick it up unless it's just a crazy ass price. Here's the perfect yard cutting cotton dad vintage champion shorts. These are the Grind Your Kid twelves. Uh, go to your room nine shorts, you know, the, the usual, just, if you put these on, you have to be, you're signing up for a lifetime of dad jokes. So you have to just tell dad jokes the rest of your life. If you're rocking those, <laughs> uh, when do you think is the best time to list winter stuff? Every single day is the best time to list winter stuff. Uh, I list it all year round because are part of the world that is on the opposite uh, season schedule as us, and they're buying from me. So I list it all year round. I don't hold on to anything when I buy it. Put it up. Forget about it. Uh, here's some Marmot rain pants. These are pretty cheap. I found a couple pairs of them actually. Uh, these are only five bucks, five dollars and eighty-four cents after my discount. Over forty on those. This is also a dope find, it's small. It's a size small, vintage Michael Jordan, spell out crew neck sweater. This is this is Salem Sportswear, uh, I believe. Yeah, that's the brand. Uh, just a sick jersey. I wish it, it fit me. Greatest player of all time. You know LeBron. I believe LeBron is really good too, though. Here's an Apple. Any Apple branded products always sell pretty well. Uh, so this is just an Apple thin sweater, hoodie sweater, super thin. Uh, and they had a price very reasonably two ninety nine. So after my discount, it was a buck ninety four. Fifty spot on the Jordan. Yeah, let me look look it up. Uh, message me on Instagram, Vogue underscore squared. Just send me a DM. I'll read it, and then we can figure out from there. 
but uh yeah just shoot me shoot me that message there here's another so these are women's actually uh women's marmot uh these are like almost like a snow pant kind of hiking pant uh always a marmot always does pretty well for me it's a very nice outdoor mountain brand Got the vintage, need to clean it up a little bit, but the vintage embroidered Mickey. Oh, that's what it's worth, I'm saying. Now I'm probably gonna ask more than 50 bucks, honestly. Walt Disney, Mickey Mouse, Cotton Dad hat. Should get about 25 to 30 on this. Crewnecks are popular at the moment. Yeah, they well, they've been popular uh, so when they first became, or when I first started noticing them, I, I made nationals for track my freshman year in the, in the 1500 and it was out in Eugene, Oregon. And, uh, that's really when I first noticed like all the kids were wearing, they had the crew socks on with the, with the vans. And then they were all wearing shorts with crew neck sweaters. I go, man, these, this is a weird, like these kids are wearing some weird shit. I like, didn't even think about it. And then like three months later, it just made its way over to the Midwest and uh, everyone was wearing them, including myself. I, I mean, I, I never rocked the crew socks with the vans, but I, I did pick up some nice uh, crew neck sweaters. So they, that's, that was back in 2009. So it's been almost eight years now that there's, they've still been in. Here's a pair of vintage LL Bean outdoor shorts i've never sold this before sold these before so i don't even know what i'm gonna ask maybe 20 bucks 25 bucks i know ll bean vintage ll bean does pretty well so this is the perks of living in a college town uh you get like their branded apparel stuff so uh women the women's uh michigan softball team's really good and I think they've won nationals a few times in the past past like five or ten years. So this is a new with tags. I'm assuming this was a gift from the College World Series. So it has the College World Se 2006 College World Series uh, branded on the back, but it's like this long Nike new with tags like vest sort of thing. I don't really know what to call it. So if you guys know, but it's like a vest, but it goes. It's pretty long and it's like mesh on the sides i'm gonna look it up because that style and color number will tell you exact will tell me exactly what it is so that was a pretty nice find. i did pay up for it but branded stuff especially if you michigan wolverine uh issued gear like people will froth over that one so i might end up keeping this one so i'm really so my background is in art, so I, I went to Michigan State originally for uh, art education and social studies, and uh, so yeah, Andy Warhol, I don't know if you can see it, Salvador Dali painting, I mean it's a print, it's not an actual painting, but like him, and then I have some other art over here of uh, Jean-Michael Basquiat, he's actually my favorite artist, but now this is, I might end up keeping this. I think it might fit, but yeah, this is the Andy Warhol uh, crew neck sweater. Kind of like it. Coming to the end here. I just picked this up because I'm going to be able to sell it as a uh, Basquiat, or why am I saying Basquiat? Uh, Bo Jackson, Oakland Raiders, Raiders vintage Reebok t shirt. Nice embroidery of the logo. So. Pretty cool. Was that? Show it again. Oh yeah. So I picked that up. That that's the uh, disintegration of persistence of memory. So I picked that up in uh, at the thrift store actually. Of course, most of my art that's hanging in my room and uh, that's hanging in my room and just in my house in general or mostly from the thrift store. So I've sold two or three of these already. They don't bring in big money, but they do sell very quickly. It's the Michigan Wolverines Jordan Respect is Earned t-shirt. Like these literally sell 
days of posting it for anywhere from 17 to 20 bucks. So I paid two dollars and fifty nine cents after the discount. So it's still a very good profit. Uh, just some running shorts, Nike dry fit running shorts. Uh, since I've stopped like being a competitive runner, really, uh, I've kind of stopped wearing like short shorts. So usually I, my shorts were probably like that long for the longest time. And buoyant for me, myself, but they look almost like uh, swim trunks rather than running shorts. But if I do end up selling them, I'll get about 20 to 25 bucks. At last, nothing special, honestly. These are some champion pretty blank but they're joggers so joggers are really in right now so jogger sweatpants they have the cuff on the bottom uh, and then this has the embroidered logo on the side it's hard to see because it's black on black but 30 bucks on them since they're joggers but yeah that was my haul 68 items I thought about hitting some more stores today but my uh, my uh, What's the word I'm looking for? My assistants are coming over at two o'clock, so gotta get off here and then start prepping all this stuff. So what I do when I prep it is all buy different types of items. So if they're all pants, they go in the pants pile. Shirts, like t-shirts, will go in t-shirt pile. Dress shirts, so on and so forth. Shorts, whatever. Uh, and then from there, then I break it up into brands. So if I have four pairs of champion pants, those will all go in a pile. And then I'll stack them on top of each other. So if another four pairs of Nike pants, those will go on top of the champion pants or whatever. I don't wash any of my items. Uh, and then so from there, that, that allows me. So when my assistants are going through the items and writing them down on the, on the spreadsheet, writing them down on the spreadsheet, I'm able to, when I then start listing the items, uh, I can go back in and just easily hit sell similar and they'll all be in the same category. Don't have to mess with the category. Not only have to tweak a few things, uh, like the material, color, uh, and then measurements. Uh, I ended up spending 430 bucks for, uh, with the taxes, 430 bucks uh, for 68 items. So what does that come out to? Roughly six bucks an item, just over six bucks an item. But like eight of those items of the 68 in there are gonna easily make me over 400 bucks so it was a very good haul uh again I, I hadn't been there in a week and a half so that's probably that probably helped out a little bit and i may have hit hit it just at the right moment when they put out some of the good jackets but yeah like that that new tags tommy hill figure jacket once i put the patch on it i'm gonna ask 150 bucks on it uh that that crazy print windbreaker jacket probably ask about 75 on like College World Series vest, probably going to ask another 75 to 100 on. So, new with tags, Patagonia, another 100 bucks. So, it was it was a very good day. I uh, appreciate you guys getting on and watching me. I know I haven't been the greatest on uh, doing videos. He just uh, before I had my assistants, there was no way I can do it. But now that I have assistants, like they're just cranking through. Uh, photographs and measurements and uh, now I'm behind listing the items so that, that that's a good problem I have though so everything's I don't like to go thrifting unless everything's at least photographed and measured and written down uh, that way really I can list for my to spring along and if I'm going on a trip I'm at the the airport I'll just whip out my computer and list away list quickly so yeah appreciate uh, everyone uh, tuning in and watching me. Uh, it's crazy to me that people actually like watching stuff like this, but uh, I do appreciate all the support, all the following, all the questions. I, I love answering your guys' questions. I love when you guys send me stuff, uh, like photos of stuff that you, you're you like hesitant to in. Uh, I can give you guys a price on it. Sometimes I buy it directly from you guys, so. But yeah, appreciate the support. Uh, if you guys, again, if you don't hit, uh, if you don't subscribe to me, hit the subscribe button. Uh, give, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. That's perfectly fine with me. I'm always constructive feedback. Love it. Uh, it's the best way to learn to grow. Uh, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Vogue 
underscored squared. It's also this is all also in the links down below. Uh, so have a good day, everyone. Good weekend. Weekend's approaching for all of us, and uh, happy reselling. <laughs>